message from the Lord to Susan on Sunday, July the 21st, 2019. This is the most serious of times. Here is the letter today. Time is winding down. Evil has taken up residence in all the world. It has consumed the earth and filled the hearts of men who know me not. The evil is growing in frequency, and the level of darkness has increased. Men's hearts are cold, and waxing colder each day. The eyes of mankind are running to and fro, pursuing every kind of evil and vile thing to cast their minds at. They watch for dark holes to go down, and chase after devils, leading them to perform grotesque acts. Only I see what happens behind closed doors and within the hearts of all men. My children, I cannot allow this evil to continue on forever. There must be a point that I put evil under my foot and punish wicked men. This hour approaches. Where will you be standing when I come back for my own? Where do you stand now? Your life is not promised to you and I may call you out of the world at any moment, to stand before me, and to give an account of your life. Will you face me as guilty, deserving punishment, or will you be filled with joy? There is much at stake now. Do not be caught in your own sudden destruction, as so many have recently. Choose for your God, and run to my salvation, paid on a humbling cross with my own flesh and blood. Repent for past sin with a heart of remorse and sadness, for a life of evil, before your holy God. Receive my spirit in all his fullness, and ask to be in the will of the Father. Only by my blood is that possible. Only by my death, can you walk down the narrow path to eternal life. Will you do it? Will you choose that which is narrow, or stay on that which is broad, with all those who will be consigned, to everlasting hell and torment? This is the most serious of times. The world is being swallowed up by evil. Let me put you on the solid rock of safety, the only true path of escape. This is the Lord, of all truth. 1 Samuel chapter 2 Verse 2. There is none holy as the Lord, for, there is none beside thee, neither is there any rock like our God. Matthew 7 verse 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be, which go in thereat. Romans chapter 14 verse 12. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Message from the Lord to Susan on Sunday, July the 28th, 2019. Come to me for healing. Heart healing. Daughter, here is the message for today. Children who are weary, stay focused on me. I am your Redeemer, even when you grow weary. Come to me for healing, heart healing. I can refresh you from a world filled with evil. Put your faith in me, I will never disappoint. Although the darkness is crowding all around you, my light always shines bright. My light will never go out. I am everlasting truth. Spend time with me, your God. Pray and run into my open arms. I am not ever far away from those who seek me out. My love is tender and comforting. I must be strict and stern at times, but even my discipline is loving and done carefully for those who come to me for truth. I discipline out of love. If you are under torment, then you are being led by devils. My discipline is done for your healing, to bring you out of the world, that is filled with evil. Parents who relax discipline, will find children who are rebellious under their roofs. 
My lukewarm church has become rebellious, because they refuse to come under my leadership to be ruled over, corrected and brought under submission. Their hearts are far from me, and will be found lacking on the great and terrible day when they face their God, if they do not surrender their all to me now. This world seems pleasing now to the touch, taste, eye, and ear, but soon, all the senses will turn on you, if you do not turn back to your Lord, and release your grip on the way of my enemy. Your demise is what he is seeking. Stop playing into his hand and run to me now. Make a full surrender. Now is the time, tomorrow for you may be too late. These words are true. I am coming for a dedicated bride who seeks me on my terms, and not her own. Will you turn from your sinful ways and repent, for lusting after an evil world, that runs apart from my truth? You must awaken before your hour is up, for then, there will be no turning back. I am waiting on those who want to come into my heavenlies, and trust only in their God for safe keeping. Those who trust in me, will never be plucked from my hand. I am the only reliable rock to stand on now. This is, the Lord Almighty. Hebrews 1st 2 verses 5 to 13 And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children, My son, despise not thou the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him, for whom the Lord loveth he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, God dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? But if ye be without chastisement, whereof all are partakers, then are ye bastards, and not sons. Furthermore we have had fathers of our flesh which corrected us, and we gave them reverence, shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the Father of spirits, and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous, Nevertheless afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. Wherefore lift up the hands which hang down, and the feeble knees, and make straight paths for your feet, lest that which is lame be turned out of the way, but let it rather be healed. Message from the Lord, to Susan on Sunday, August the 4th, 2019. Choose wisely, choose life, choose the Savior. These are the words for the people. Don't despair. Watch closely, as the events in the world line up with my truth. I am not a man that I should lie. I am returning to retrieve my loyal church. The hour approaches. Many do not believe. They are banking on the world, for their salvation. They will be filled with sorrow, for choosing the world for answers. The world is an enmity to me, and holds no promise for anyone. The world is a doorway to hell, and most will choose that way, the broad way to destruction. I hold the key to eternity. My blood shed, paid for the entrance of lost people, back into a relationship with God. Previously, man was lost, hopeless and fallen. Generation after generation was cursed, and only by my crucifixion on the cross of pain and suffering, has mankind been purchased back, to receive access into my kingdom. The sinner, born of sin, must choose for me and my salvation gift. Then, they must repent of past sin, and admit, to needing a savior. They must desire to trade in their own will, for the will of the Father, without which, they will be unable to enter into heaven. All their good works will do them no good, if they do these works, apart from the will of God, and never change their course to follow me.
I know the way. I am the way. Time is short. Many today even, die in their sin. Do not be caught facing your God, without a full, oil lamp relationship. There is no good way to describe a lost sinner, who faces their destiny in eternal hell. I want you to be ready. I want you to come to me for all your answers, and clean garments. Do not let the devil lie to you. Time is running out for mankind to be ready, for the worst time in human history. Make your choice now. Choose wisely, choose life, choose the Savior for all mankind. My name is, Jesus. Matthew 7 13 to 14 Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way, that leadeth to destruction, and many there be, which go in thereat, because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way, which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Matthew 7 verse 21 Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Hey, boy, song is jumping on, yeah, the Father says, yeah, it's coming. Don't get left behind, don't get left behind, boy. The rapture yeah, is coming. Don't get left behind, don't get left behind.